Hello boys and girls and welcome to another unboxing, this one being featured a kit that I picked up from a GK model online shop. As with all my videos, there will be a link down in the description to be able to pick this up. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 1-7 scale Fate Saber Atoria Altaria Pendragon. Now, if you guys ended up seeing my live stream, you'll know I already did an unboxing and kind of overview of all the pieces, but this is just a breakdown to show you everything that comes in the box in a little closer detail. Something short and sweet where you don't have to sit through a whole live stream. Taking a look at the side of the box, you've got a nice artwork as usual with all their things. You have a QR code, which will actually take you to the page with the information. The model number on this is W-2042. As usual with all their boxings they're not like super thick but they are nice and sturdy i do i do really like all of their boxings um versus uh, like e20 that uses the yellow box i i really appreciate how they used to do the the tupperware containers because those could be reused for other things but it is what it is so let's take a look at what came in the box now first up you do get a nice sheet that has uh, basically a layout of all of the pictures of this this was originally a pvc figure which was broken down and cast this does have the option of with and without the cape and i think it has a couple of other little options um, like with the hand you can either have her with her hand on the pommel with the blade into the base or you can have her holding it uh, the crown is optional, of course, as you can see on here. I do like the fact that they include color photos. Next up, you get a sheet with the all the parts laid out. Uh, you do get some water slides on here. You get two sets of eyes. This does come with two heads so you can do uh, alternating basically you just be swapping out the faces um, you get like i said all the parts layout you get the base you get her skirt petticoat and the cloak you get basically all the body parts i'm going to lay this out the bad part because this was a pvc kit there are no instructions on basically putting it together now there's not a lot of parts and because i have kind of test fitted everything it does show you, you know, it, the pieces go together actually fairly easily, um, but you are going to have to do a, some finagling and just figure out what goes where. Now, as I stated before, I have already looked at all the pieces that are in here. Um, I do like the fact that you have the base and this is, I think if I remember correctly, the deluxe version, like one version you could light up the base and the other you could not. Um, I have these sitting over here. These are the plates for the doors. So you could do your own wiring, mount in batteries. Uh, all the slots are here and everything. It would end up taking four AAA batteries. You could put your own LEDs under here. I have another thing in mind for doing that and I'll show you that here a little bit later. But uh, so you have the base, you have this ring that ends up sitting on here and there are screw holes where you can line up and screw it in. You will have to provide your own screws with that though. You do get this nice clear base over here. Uh, I like all the texture. I like that it's a, a frosted and not perfectly clear. You can use like clear paints on this or you could tint this. Uh, you can see over here, there is actually a hole in here and there's a little notch right here. The hole right here is to be able to attach in one of these guys to support the cape there is a little notch that's right here to be able to put the blade tip into like i said the texture and everything is really well done on here um, i do like it i did do some playing around in the live stream with one of my light up bases and it looked fantastic but this is just going to sit in just like so so in the base right here you'll see there's two pegs and that will just line up with the bottom of the feet you are going to have to play around to get this to lock into those pegs that are in there. Um, I would almost suggest probably like attaching a magnet to the bottom side of this where these pegs are to these holes just so it sits in there and it will stay. Uh, it is a pain in the rear to get that to line up. All right, to start off something simple, you do get the blade and there is nice, uh, like a frosted texture on here. There is some scribing on here, which I will show here in a second. You get the handle or the pommel, and then you get the butt, which there's two of them on here, and I'm not quite sure why there's two of them here. Uh, one has a little notch in here, and I think that is so that you can put it on there and it will line up with the hand. Um, one of the hands has a little marking on there. 
So I think that's what that is for. But if we take a look at the sword here, you can kind of see it. It's it's not really going to end up showing up, but you do have some scribing right in here and you do have the decoration that is on both sides there. Uh, again, because it's clear, it's not going to show up real well on camera. And I know this is going to be kind of tricky because, well, white does not film very well in bright light. So I've kind of turned down the lights and everything, but we have the lower section here, which is her waist, her legs, you have her calves, her feet, and then these actually are pretty simple. There are pore tabs still on here, and these are actually just going to snap right in. Um, one side has round holes, one side has square holes. You want to make sure I had them reversed just now. Um, you will have to heat them a little bit to get them to fit in there properly, but that's just the that's just the nature with resin. So once those are all heated up, they're going to fit in there nicely. And as you can see, they're just going to snap in just like so. Same with the other side. But again, you're going to have to heat those up a little bit just to get them to stay in there. You get the calves, which have armor on there. Very nicely done. Do not panic when you end up seeing this. You will have to trim off some pore marks that are up here on the top. And there are some down here at the bottom but everything actually fits together really well. These are keyed so that they will fit only on one side, so you don't have to worry about that. This whole section, I was kind of worried when I ended up looking at it to begin with, but once you put on the skirt, the petticoat, and the everything else that's on there, it actually fills up this whole gap where you only have about that much left to go into the upper body. Getting the lower body out of the way. Next up, we have the head. Now you do have the crown, you have the little hair strand that pokes up, which is going to kind of act as a holder for the crown so it doesn't bounce around. You get two different faces. You have a solemn face, and then you have a smiley face. You get the back of the hair and the front of the hair. And as you can see, here is the smiley face, and here is the solemn face. Now to put everything together, you're just going to line up. And again, there are pore tabs on here, so everything is not going to fit perfectly. I would probably suggest if you're wanting to be able to do swap outs with the head to use magnets for the hair to the head. You get the front part, which is just going to snap in just like so. It is a very simple. The fit is perfect. The crown is just going to sit on the top and then the little hair piece is going to fit in right there where there's a little pinhole. The fit on here is very well. Um, you are going to have to, as with all of these, just heat them up a little bit. But do I do suggest if you take a look here, you can see a little bit of a gap. And that's because there is the pore tab that is actually blocking that. Once you remove your pore tabs, then do your fitting. Getting the head out of the way. All right, and here we are with the body part itself. And this is all the chest and basically waist up. So you have your top section here. You have your arms. You have the armor that's going to go on the arms. You have three different hands. One of these hands is going to be for actually holding the sword. There's a little pin that's on here, and that's going to be the one for sitting on top of the sword, you know, like so. You only get one left hand. You get the waist section, you get the chest armors, and basically you get the filler for her chest and then an outfit for over the top of that. You get a bow on here, which I think goes on in her hair, um, but I am not for sure for that. I'd have to relook at the instructions on that. So basically how this ends up going together, and this is not gonna fit properly because again, I do not have the pore tabs trimmed off, but you're gonna have this section here, and then you're gonna have this section here that goes on top of that. And again, it's not gonna fit because the pore tabs are on there. And then you have the chest armor section, which is just gonna sit on to there. You do kind of have an option depending on your fit, whether you wanna put this on, it's so that you can pull it off and she's not wearing full armor. It gives you options. You have a back section of armor, which is gonna go on just like so. You do have this corset piece, which is again, one of those pieces that's gonna take up some of that waist section. And to kind of show you what I'm talking about, this is what it's gonna look like if you don't add all that stuff on. So you have that, and that's gonna take up some of that gap. 
There are keys on each side, so you don't have to worry about that. This side's going to go on to here. This side is going to go on here. The fit is pretty good, but you are going to have to glue it or magnetize it one way or another. There are notches on each of these for these armor plates to fit onto. This piece right here, I didn't really focus on, and this is actually going to be for the cloak. So we'll show that here in a second. Getting her torso out of the way. The next section of pieces that we're going to be going over is actually going to be probably the biggest part of this kit or at least the bulk of it. So you have basically the petticoat or underskirt. You have the overskirt or actual skirt. You have all of these armor panels, which are going to end up fitting on here and they're going to layer up. They actually act like a, like a bunch of Pringles. So you end up having that. Then there's a bigger one, which is going to lock in down there. So each side is going to have three of these panels that you're going to have to glue together and then glue them onto the skirt. When you have this section here, this is just going to fit onto there. You're going to take your legs. You're going to slide them in like that, which is going to leave this peg right up here. You're going to take that part and then that part right on there. And last but not least is probably the biggest part of this. And this is going to be the cloak. This thing is massive. It's almost 12 inches wide from the widest point to the widest point. You have this fur thing that's going to go onto here. And then again, what I was talking about with this little piece, it's just going to go across here just like so just to give you guys a little different perspective. If we drag this over and then that's going to fit onto her. So I think all in all uh, for the value, I think this was $90. Um, you get a discount. So play around with that. It depends if you just join um, with their system, you get, I think it's considered silver and it's a 5% or something like that discount. Uh, and then as you purchase stuff, you build up points and you build up uh, basically ranking from silver to gold to platinum, which is where my goal is eventually. Um, but yeah, I think this ended up being $90. The original, I believe, was somewhere around 200 something like that, maybe more. If you can find it now as an original, it's going to be much more expensive. If you're a Fate State or a Saber fan, this is going to be a must for you. I really like everything. Everything has been really clean. There has not been any offset as far as seams go. Very minimal pore tabs, easy to clean off. Again, it's in that quality GK white resin that they end up using. So I have been super happy with this. So stick around. I'm going to play around with doing a spot glue and putting this all together and give you guys another overview. But that has been it for this video. As I stated, links will be down in the description to be able to go over and check it out. It is not an affiliate link. I am not uh, sponsored by them. I am not anything. This is coming out of own pocket and I am happy to support them. As usual, guys, I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay safe and peace out.